to do something to clearance that. This feels wrong to do. My technique was a little too rough. Yeah, that's not good. series for me and my dad take a 63 Corvair and a D-body frame and combine them together to create a hot rod. In this week's video we are going to be creating a mold for a hood scoop, so I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you at the end of the episode. What's up? Well, there's absolutely no way we're getting around a, uh, a scoop of some sort on the hood. There's going to be a bulge at minimum. The distributor looks like it'll clear just fine. We might have to do a little bit of modification to the brace, but if you look in there, see how the carb is literally touching the bottom of the hood, or the brace there? Yeah. So we're going to have to do something to clearance that. Stealth is not going to be possible with this, not entirely. Okay, so it's a few days later, and Dad bought this hood scoop, and apparently it does not fit the car, it's too small. So. It's too small, it's too cheap, it's plastic. What are you going to do with that? Yeah. Got that off the jungle site. The picture looked okay, looked like it might be kind of of the era. And uh, boy, the measurements sure looked a lot more promising. I think they measured the box, not the scoop itself. So, yeah, that's a joke. <clears throat> that's the better part of a Benji chucked down the toilet. So, what are what do we have this out for? That is a reverse mold off of a 68 Cup SS or 442. Yeah. Now we might be able to take this. I was intending to do something with this and make a fiberglass hood for the 82, but we might be able to take that and uh, use that in combination with making a buck off of this. We'll have to do a little bit of body work to it, you know, just have some cheap mud. Yeah. Wax it up, make a mold, combine those two, shorten that up, and maybe give it a little bit of extra height. We'll have to see. I'll pull the air cleaner off of the olds, and we'll put it on this, cut a hole, figure out what we have to do, how far we have to go, and uh, just take a look, see if it kind of fits, if it kind of blends in, and, you know, it's subtle. We don't want to be screaming, hey, this thing's had something done with it. But uh, I think that might be our, our next steps forward, or our path forward right now, is just making a model off of that. This feels wrong to do, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. The paint layers were liquefying a bit and jamming the strip wheels, so Dad thought of a better way to clean the hood. Hey, hey, that's plenty. Move on. <laughs> I want this to be on thick, but not obscene. Okay. There you go. Make up now. She's getting a little too sloppy, but. Oh, nothing, Daddy. Yeah. Kind of been her way. That was the mistake I made with this stuff in the past as I tried to spread it too thin. For those who weren't sure, the liquid we were using was paint stripper. Feel as smooth as you can so we can feel the irregularities in the metal. 
scratching out the surface. So just over here in this area? That's or all like I would everything? worry about, yeah. We don't need the rest of the hood. All we need is the area we're going to work, okay? Despite Dad's advice, my first attempt at bodyworking didn't go too well, and I wasn't too happy about it. Um, apparently, my technique was a little too rough. Can you explain what I did? I've got some eye spots in here. Right here? Yeah. You see everything that's really shiny now? Those are all high spots. Everything else is low spot. Right? Right. So we got to keep working this, get our higher, our ridiculously high spots knocked down, and try and get that leveled out. All we have to do is get this close, okay? Because then we're going to put that form on here, and we're going to fill it up, right? Right. Get that on, blend it out, and then whatever is left that's, you know, not right is just going to get mudded. So all we have to do is get it close, avoid wasting excess material. Work an area a little bit. And you come with the sandpaper, you know, from a different angle, one angle or another, you can kind of see and track by the, the sand marks your progress. Yeah. This here looks about as good as we're going to get. It's still flatter than I'd like, but now it's kind of like you're rolling in and then you just got a flat spot ish. We can push that out, but really, I'm pretty sure from about here. And it's all going to be covered now that I'm thinking about it. So we're not worried about this. Out here though, we want to keep working this. Or where it is for our purposes actually, for the sake of time, is probably close enough. Because I'm thinking one light skim with the mud. And then a little ch -ch -ch, you know, sand it, blend it. If this was a nice car and we were saving this hood, I'd be like, let's keep working this. But you know, we got so much cancer out here that we're going to be dealing with. This hood's going to get cut up. Well, it is cut up. We're done with this hood. Yeah. This is just prep for a mold. Yeah. So I think for our purposes, that is all we need to do. Now we don't need 15 pounds of Bondo in there. All we need is a light skim. Or all we should need is a light skim looking at this. this off of the trailer and then we're going to blow foam into the cavity between the, the hood and this and that's going to give us the beginnings of a positive mold. All right. What we're going to do is once we have that blown in and it sets up, we'll break this off and we'll start shaping what remains to the hood because we're not prepping the hood. We want the hood to be gooey and sticky, right? We want that stuff to actually adhere to the hood, not to this. So once that stuff's set up, we'll peel this off, and that should leave this form shape plus here, and at the front there's going to be material, as well as off the back, because the hood's going to end right about here. That'll give us room where we can kind of come in and do some cutting and shaping and sanding to get an essential form, and then we'll seal that up either you know using the glue or we'll come back with a, a skim coat of mud or something to try and get ourselves a good firm positive mold do whatever else we have to do there's a little bit of metal shaping that's going to need to be done or we can wait until this is in in poly and go that route and just body work it there in the glass because there are going to be imperfections that we're going to have to work one way or the other but the better we're starting with the better we should 
you know, end up with. Part of me wonders if I put too much. Well, a little too much is probably better than not enough. Let's move that out of the way for now. side to side but we can body work that once we get the, the goop in there but we should be really close and when we're done we'll take a mock of that ridge the hood ridge and we might walk that down the center just just because but I don't really know that we need to do that we want those gaps open to make room for expansion and let that set up overnight we'll come out tomorrow pop this off Hopefully this releases and it sticks to the bare sanded hood and we can start doing our forming and shaping and that will give us our positive mold where we can turn around and do our experiment as far as making the negative and hopefully we'll have a fiberglass hood here soon that's custom, unique to your car and yours alone. This was supposed to be for the Cutlass, <laughs> not this. Grant, we can always do it on the cutlass too, I guess, if this works. Find out. touching the roof. Yeah, that's not good. I don't know that I got halfway across this either. I don't think you did. You might have gotten a third wave of the crust. We need that. How do we fix it? Want more in? Yeah, we're barely there. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna be problematic. What's it doing in there? Is it pushing over? I'm starting to think we might have wanted another can or two it's of this. It's pushing. It's pushing over a bit. Where I'm sitting, it looks like it's actually uh, touching the roof. Good. Is it pushing over? Very, very slowly. We have this thing. Wow. Start jamming this in, I guess. Let's see if it works. Will we even be able to tell the general shape? I think so. Looks like there's a gap in the middle. There is, and it's significant. Can you tell by the darker and lighter colors on the hood where it's touching and where it isn't? Yeah. The colors is where it's actually touching. So this whole area here is kind of a cavity. Okay, so Dad decided to take a look at this. It's been sitting overnight. It's been overnight, but the weather's cool and damp, so it isn't fully set up yet. Just let that sit for another day or so, and move on to some of the other projects that we have to do. Some other preparation that needs to get done before we start doing any glass work at all. Yay, fall! <laughs> 
Well, that's about it. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give us a like. And if you're interested in what we're going to be doing with this car in the future, please make sure to subscribe. Other than that, have a gorgeous autumn. Enjoy the leaves while they're still there. And I'll catch you later. Bye!